Move over, Ice Climbers. Move over, Duck Hunt. Smash has an all-new dynamic duo, Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie are really in Smash? What's next? Ridley? Oh, wait. Yep. Don't worry, buddy. I see ya. Alright, alright. So, if you didn't play a ton of platformers, or didn't have an N64 as a kid, or you're a kid right now, you might not get the hype. Who else can they add? For anyone out of the loop, Banjo-Kazooie is one of the greatest platforming games of all time. It was a huge success, and was basically as big as Super Mario 64. Having Banjo and Kazooie basically completes, like, a retro platforming legend trifecta. Not only are Banjo and Kazooie in Smash, but they feel as whimsical and fun as the games they come from. They've got a bunch of weird and creative special moves in their kit, as well as some solid bread and butter tilts and aerials. Their quirky playstyle makes them a great mix-up character that excels at catching their opponent off guard with hard-to-read options. Banjo and Kazooie aren't really an aggressive combo duo, or a Zonia to death defensive team. They're more well-rounded and have some strengths and weaknesses in every area. So, Banjo and Kazooie probably aren't for you if you're looking for a super fast, aggressive character, or a super defensive zoner, or an edgy character torn straight out of an anime. Banjo and Kazooie are for you if you want a fun, goofy character that gives a lot of room for creativity. And, you know, if you ever wanted to watch a bear smack people over the head with a bird that he keeps in his backpack. Basically, if you want another wake-up option for your inner child. So with all that said, if you're sold on this bird-bear combo, we've got you set up with a little starter guide. In this video, we're gonna go over three simple strengths that Banjo and Kazooie have and how they go into playing the character. We're gonna cover their strong edge guarding, their versatile neutral, and their creative play. Oh, and real quick, one more thing before we get started. If you're looking to go even further, then don't forget about our website, ProGuides.com. We've got tons of guides on there to help you with the more advanced stuff, including ones made by top players like Zero, along with others coming real soon. We've also got live coaching sessions from strong players because, hey, everybody could use a coach. Okay, now let's get started with edge guarding. To have strong edge guarding, a character should have a good recovery, good aerial options, and good aerial movement. Banjo and Kazooie have pretty much all of those. It's pretty easy for Banjo to run off the ledge and throw an aerial without losing anything but stage control. Well, except down air. You should be careful with that one. But really, Banjo can pressure opponents far off stage, because if he misses, he has tons of recovery options that he can use to mix up his patterns. He can recover low or high with his up special, and he has a pretty much invincible option he can use to close horizontal distances. And, if all that fails, they can blow themselves up like Snake or Link and get the recovery back. When Banjo is in the air, he has tons of ways to hit opponents. His forward air is great for catching a predictable pattern and is his hardest hitting aerial. This thing will take stocks early. His neutral air works well for catching air dodges and putting the opponent back in disadvantage. And his back air does a bit of both. For an even safer option, Banjo and Kazooie can throw out their grenade, I mean, rear egg, at opponents. They can throw the egg out in the air, drift into it, catch it, and then throw it a pretty far distance before it explodes. Finally, if you really want to style on your opponent, you can slam into them with a side special, or gimp them with the bounce pad from Banjo's up special. And hey, while we're talking up Banjo's edge guarding, we gotta admit that it is a little risky. Banjo's up special doesn't have a hitbox other than the spring, which means he can be knocked out of it. Banjo can triple jump as well, but his double and triple jump aren't that fast, nor mobile, making him easier to hit. Finally, his side special is invincible, but players can interrupt it as it starts up, and Banjo and Kazooie can only use it five times a stock. A strong opponent could turn the edge guard around on you, but in ultimate, that's a risk most characters face. Fortunately, Banjo and Kazooie can also trap opponents at the ledge very well. So, if you're wary of edge guarding a particular character, you can always stick to the safer route. Their biggest tool at the ledge is the down special Rear Egg, because they can launch it, bounce it, hold it, or throw it. It can take up space and get rid of one of three ledge options if timed properly. Their neutral air is also good for catching jumps off the ledge, while their down tilt can two-frame and interfere with an opponent's recovery. 
Okay, we covered edge guarding, and now it's time to talk about neutral. You know, that thing you gotta win to knock the other guy off the stage. You gotta learn to walk before you can run. Say it with me now, the neutral game is the most important game. And luckily, Banjo and Kazooie have a lot of tools for it. Their biggest tool is none other than that rear egg. We've talked about rear egg a bit, but this move is worth a full explanation. Basically, Kazooie throws out a small explosive right behind Banjo that either player can pick up and throw. The egg explodes pretty quickly, but can be thrown far pretty quickly too. This move has lots of tricks to it. Banjo can use it to catch opponents dashing behind him. Banjo can bounce it at the opponent, making it a hazard for them to avoid. Banjo can also grab it and chuck it to make it a longer range projectile. He can even use it in the air to stuff out attacks, turn himself around, or catch it more quickly. Rear Egg gives Banjo some needed range in neutral, on top of a lot of mix-ups. Like Snake's Grenade, it's a move that's tricky to punish and makes it both harder to approach Banjo and easier for Banjo to approach. Now that I think of it, where the heck is Snake pulling his grenades out of? Anyway, Banjo can use the Rear Egg to make his neutral game hard to read and to get follow-ups. The knockback on the Egg puts opponents at a great combo distance where Banjo can follow up with aerials. Sometimes, Banjo can even land a side special at mid to high percents and get an early stop. Oh hey, now that we brought it up, let's talk that side special. This is gonna be the move you'll see Banjo spamming in quick play. Banjo charges forward a huge distance, throwing out a big hitbox that's basically invincible and kills early. The move's end lag isn't much more than some smash attacks, and its range and invincibility can make it tough to punish if you space it so that you're out of range from your opponent when it's finished. The catch is that it has ammo. You get five uses of this totally broken and busted move each stock. After that, it does literally nothing. Like, nothing at all unless you want to get up attack on command, I don't know. Even with just 5 uses, this side special is so useful in neutral. When you first pick up Banjo and Kazooie, this looks like the go-to kill move. It's pretty good to get a kill, but if you just rip this move constantly when your opponent is low health, they're gonna catch on. They can easily shield or jump over the move. If they see you're impatient with it and like to use it a lot, they'll just camp you out and wait for you to waste it. In pure neutral, this move is best used as a whiff punch. Lots of characters have heavy commitment moves that aren't normally risky because of their range or disjoint. Normally, you couldn't approach in time to punish these moves. With Banjo and Kazooie's side special, you can. You can also use side special to call out habits, like a roll, spot dodge, or jump. Side special beats all these options. It lasts so long that it beats rolls and spot dodges, and its invincibility makes it so opponents can't use an aerial to cover their jump as they land. However, Side Special's strongest usage might just be resetting neutral. Like I said before, this move is completely invincible and has huge range. That means your opponent can be doing everything to keep you on the back foot, and you can still use Side Special to break free. Side Special is a great way to get to the ledge or center stage without getting punished. Sure, it's not as flashy as getting a kill, but this is actually huge. Getting back to center stage means getting away from the blast zones, which means living longer and doing more damage each stock. Finally, Banjo and Kazooie have tons of solid tilts and aerials that cover different scenarios. They can juggle using their up tilt and up air, they can defend themselves or cross up a shield with neutral air, they can do damage and knockback with a forward air, they can score a quick hit with a jab or back air, and they can use down air or rear egg to break out of some juggles. All of those options make Banjo and Kazooie a super versatile character in neutral. And guess what? That versatility also translates into creativity. That's the coolest thing about Banjo and Kazooie, the creativity. This colorful, cartoon duo brings a sense of childlike joy to Smash just through their creativity. They've got a little bit of everything Smash has to offer, from explosive projectiles to side charge moves to drag down aerials. Because of that, there's a lot you can do with them. You could play the duo like a zoner, throwing eggs and shooting pellets. You could also run in and box with tilts, aerials, and grabs. Banjo and Kazooie specials can help them do either, too. Their rear egg can be used for setups, strings, and approaches, or for stuffing out attacks and controlling space on the defense. It's the same for their side special, which they can use to break out of disadvantage or to end someone's life off stage. And hey, whatever playstyle you pick, you can find lots of interesting interactions inside. 
For example, a drag down neutral air can lead to tilts, jabs, and other follow-ups. A down throw can lead to an aerial, a jab, or a smash attack at high percents. A rear egg explosion can lead into a side special. Lots of Banjo's moves have multiple interesting uses and depth. Since the character just came out, no one's had the time to lab every option, but where there are drag downs, small knockbacks, and interrupts, there are often creative plays to follow. And that's what makes Banjo so exciting. This is a character you could see played a few different ways, all of them pretty interesting. And for more insight on those creative play styles, both with Banjo and every other character in this game, be sure to subscribe here to Pro Guides. With the notifications, you'll be getting daily uploads in your inbox ready to help you become the Smash Master you deserve to be. We're hard at work on even more Banjo content coming shortly, so if you want to see them, like this video and share it with your friends. Comment and tell us what content you want to see, and we'll get to work on it right away.